It is as if we are observing a change in evolution over the time span of one generation. We ask how trauma affects the brain, how trauma affects the body, and really how trauma affects generations. People in the world suffer from traumatic events, and these traumatic events aren't just a one-time change on their brain and their body. It actually continues for seemingly their lifetime. Not only did those who suffered during the famine experience health problems, but some of their children and even their grandchildren had metabolic issues. So people began to ask, how does an experience of a parent, of a grandparent, change offspring? Researchers began to discover that your environment and your experiences can change the way your genes are activated in your body and in your brain. It's not like you get your genes and it's set in stone. They're constantly changing based on the environment. Remarkably, these changes were actually passed down to the next generation. The offspring, the kids of the parents that were shocked with odor, were born with more cells that express the almond receptor, which means there's a memory that somehow is maintained in sperm, in egg, through implantation, and represented in offspring. It is as if we are observing a change in evolution over the time span of one generation. And I just think that's fascinating.